hello there Pisces you are a Pisces Sun Moon rising or Venus my name is Abby and this is rogue Pisces tarot I'm here to give you your daily Pisces reading uh, there's no set intention for the reading I just ask spirit our creator sweet energy of the universe you could please bring forward the most relevant messages for the Pisces collective those who will be watching so that they may do the greatest good for the greatest number help me to see the messages and understand the nuances from day to day okay so if you've watched any readings on YouTube before, you know that not everything's going to re resonate for everybody, okay? Not every message can be for everybody. So if something is for you, take it with joy and with grace and then leave the rest behind because it's for somebody else. Hope that somebody else finds it, that it finds the people that need it. You can like to help it circulate you can share if you feel like paying it forward that's all up to you okay i hope you get something out of this so oh no i want this one all right so today's energy we have page of earth pisces oh we got two here oh the lovers and the three of swords okay interesting challenge position please we have the eight of water it's like the eight of cups mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah all right you make sure that you can see those sorry these cards are kind of kind of thick um we have transformation which is like the death card in this deck in the suggested course which i believe we had yesterday also wrapping up past energies ace of water i don't want this one and then five of swords okay as key to tomorrow we have the king of water pisces energy big time look at this mystical creature just kind generous loving nurturing can have a light touch such a light touch so gentle but commanding protective king of water or king of cups is sort of notorious um well, i should say notorious in tarot they tend to be where will i put this i'll put this down here there we go um someone who feels very deeply but may not always be good at expressing their feelings okay all right, so page of earth in today's energy. You could be hearing from someone who's got some earth in their chart. That's quite a bit. I feel like it, it's good though. Okay. Um, this also feels like a move towards something tangible in the 3D. Um, it could be a meeting that you need to set up. It could be that you're actually going to see a friend. You're going to have a phone call with someone. This feels like something sort of tangible in the air. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, because it's coming out of this um, Five of Pentacles energy. This is a feeling of being sort of set apart and not connected. Um, wishing for more warmth, for more comfort, for more connectivity. And then Five of Pentacles moving right into Six of Pentacles. So reciprocity give and take generosity in the chariot cancer energy um so a lot of earth right could have a lot to do with material goods material security um 
For some of you, it could very well be some sort of decisive action that you are needing to take to set up uh, something that will help you to gain more financial security in the future. Could be something like a job interview, a phone call you have to make or sending out a resume. Um, but it's something, it isn't just sitting around and thinking about it. It isn't just a dream. The chariot is, it's really one of the fastest moving cards in most decks. This one is usually, she's not moving yet. She's not moving yet. She's sitting there in all of her beautiful goddess power. Um, there are obstacles to overcome. My feeling is that the obstacles here are hesitation. There's something to do with hesitation. But it just needs to get moving because it's going to be equal. You know, it's like this is just telling me ask and you will receive in today's energy. There's nothing wrong with asking. Okay, so what do we have for um, more for today's theme, please, spirit? We have the lovers, Gemini energy, and, and heartbreak, this three of air, three of swords. What's going on with this? of pentacles <sighs> oh this just feels like this beautiful loving comfort this desire this could be a connection with a person it could be a dream for a business or stability This has a lot of Leo in it. It's just so strong. I'm feeling that for some of you out there, there has been this heavy disappointment. That's where the hesitation's coming from. And now there's this just desire to be able to rest and to be able to feel comfortable and not always be juggling between disaster and uh, abundance, like feeling like it's going good and then feeling like it's all turning on its head. Oh, Pisces. I just like for some reason this image just like so something came out of it that just felt like I just I don't want to be attacked anymore I don't want to be scrambling anymore I don't want to be running anymore a lot to process Pisces but there's a lot of potential in this there's a lot of potential there's a lot of beauty your energy is here so strong okay eight of water what is this eight of water in the challenge position spirit what's this eight of water about this ate a water about spirit that's a lot 
Okay, eight of water, it's like eight of cups. Um, it's really about turning your back on the things that no longer serve you. Um, and saying serve you. Yeah, okay. Because there's there's a need for, this could be a Libra, Libra energy with the Justice card. Um, and again, water, these emotions. Like the imagery of this deck is just amazing. So the turning of your back, looking out and going, okay. There's this treasure right beside this person, right? They have all this already. They've, they've acquired all this, but they're looking out to this ship and they're saying, I know I have this. I thought this worked. Um, it doesn't anymore, and so now I have to go somewhere new. Um, because I need balance. I need to maybe find a sense of personal justice. Um, there could be something very literal with justice. Could be to do with the courts. Some sort of, um, decision or settlement coming down. Could also just have to do with the cause and effect, right? This real feeling of, like... A realization of the longer I stay in this, the worse it's it's going to get. This energy is very, very sad down here. Um, this feels kind of like, okay, get going. Like, yes, there's the Five of Pentacles. Um, but the Page of Pentacles doesn't feel so bad. It feels good, but it's almost as if you're looking down at the potential of your projects. As if they're not good enough. Like, like this is just a page. Like, uh, it's just a page. But, like, this is where it starts, you know? Um, what you put in, you will get out. That is what justice is about. Justice is about what you put in, you will get out. Six of Pentacles, what you put in, you will get out. Like, it's reciprocity, it's balance. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm all sniffly. I'm getting all emotional. Stick with me here. So, to clarify the transformation card, which is also like the death card, but like the nice version of the death card in this deck. We have Queen of Cups, Pisces Energy, and Four of Cups. Um, Four of Cups can symbolize a missed opportunity. I think that it's just immediately telling me you need to turn from the kind of person who stares this stuff down and goes like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could, but I mean, if I do, like, mm, it'll be hard. It'll be work. I could get disappointed. I could lose it. I could kick it over and spill it. Somebody could steal it from me to just like, this transformation needs to happen of standing in your power. There's like, look at her little doggies. There's just happiness and loyalty and this beautiful cup full of secrets, full of power, full of emotions, full of love. It's just move out of this, learn to let this, this, this skeptical, second guessing energy that lets things pass you by because you don't believe in yourself that needs to go and I understand that this is tied to a lot of pain um, but it needs to go ace of water please spirit okay so we have this beautiful this is wrapping up past energy um, this potential for um, some kind of new beginning, some kind of emotional new beginning. Uh, some It involves emotions, whatever it is, whether it's a new passion project or a new relationship. And then we have an Ace of Pentacles. So not only, my goodness, so not only is this pentacle, look at that, it's enormous. It isn't like this potential is not just about something that might make you happy and bring you a lot of good fulfillment. This is tangible. This is real. This is in the 3D. 
An eight of wands. Now this could be travel, could be like air travel, could be messages, um, Cupid's love arrows, um, could be a potential for a very emotional and stable long-term relationship. Um, I'm feeling though that this is just like a seed to start an emotional new beginning and an emotional rebirth, an emotional transformation. And then it starts with not discounting the offer of this page. This page, this little pentacle here, look how tiny. I'm like, it looks so tiny at the end of their wand there. And this little person bringing it in. And it just, it feels like, wow, like this rinky dink little offer, but really, really it's this, it's huge. It's proud. It's something you could have so much pride over. You have the ability, Pisces, to set things in motion. You can do it. And it will bring, I think it has the potential to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment. Uh, the key to tomorrow we have here is the five of air, which is like five swords, air sign energy. Um, often someone kind of putting themselves up in the, it's a winners and losers kind of thing, right? Um, somebody putting themselves in the spotlight, okay? Someone coming in and going, these are all my swords now. This is all mine now. I'm taking it. This is for me. Someone putting themselves in front and center. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, please tell me more. Please, please, please. Yes, okay. So we have Queen of Wands. Um, the more that you embrace this bit by bit, Pisces, the better it's going to get. This fire within you, your ability to tune into your attractiveness, to your ability to manifest, to your ability to attract people to you. Um, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Just whew, being able to get what you desire. After this, this is Eight of Cups. This is going away. This is leaving that treasure behind because you know that there's something missing, all right? And what's missing is the ninth cup. Put yourself forward. Put yourself out there. Um, you could very well be watching somebody. Page of Swords energy is often kind of a quiet, studious, observant energy. Um, this tells me that someone could be watching you. You could be hearing from someone who's sort of watching what you do, especially like on things like social media. So they're able to observe you from a distance. Um, and then we also have strong Sagittarius energy, this, this give and take, this beautiful angelic balance. Um, see, they're both they're both juggling. They're both juggling. They're both mixing. They're both trying not to drop it. But one has peace about them. This one looks sort of, I don't know. He doesn't strike me as peaceful. This right beautiful balancing between the dark and the light the sun and the moon giving you know keeping one foot on the water one foot on the land getting into the emotions but not getting lost in them optimism balance accepting the reality of the world without letting yourself walk around with this, this knot, like this is just hitting me as like a knot in the stomach. Whatever this was down here, my goodness. Okay, 
What did we have at the bottom of the deck here? Oh, two of swords, indecision. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stuck in your head. The star, Aquarius energy. Renewed faith and hope. Four of pentacles holding on tight. Seven of pentacles awaiting results. Ten of swords, end of a painful cycle. It's... Mm, 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 mm. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I just want you to be happy, my little fishies. I hope this helps. So what do we have from the Island Times? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Messages for our Pisces, please. Those who will be watching, those who resonate with this message, what do they need to hear? What will help them? <laughs> okay, anything else? Okay, that feels good. All right, we have trust the process. Everything always works out. Something better is on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. Eight of uh, wands can also symbolize a sort of divine movement. Um, these wands are in motion and they were not necessarily set in motion by anything in particular. They are just kind of flying, you know, and I'm not surprised to see this. We have negativity, distorted view and wounds, complaining, negative self-talk, self-sabotage, outside influences, reminder to be gracious. This to me is like this looking at this page of earth like he's got nothing, but really they've got this. Ooh, I'm getting all fired up for you, Pisces. Gratitude. Thank you. Gratuity increases attraction and opportunities. Attraction. Nothing's more attractive than the, than the Queen of Wands. Look at the gratitude in the Nine of Cups. My goodness. Gratuity increases attraction and opportunities. Little things count. Be grateful for all of your time. This is so nice, Pisces. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get one from the Wisdom of the Oracle. I really hope you find this helpful. Sorry I got sappy in the middle there, but that was a heavy energy all of a sudden that I was not expecting. Okay, let's get one more from the Wisdom of the Oracle for our Pisces, lovers of Pisces, friends of Pisces, whoever's watching for the Pisces that are out there. Spirit, what do they need to know? What could they use? What do they need to hear? Okay, we got truth be told number 14, and it's in the reverse. So this oracle deck does have reversals, so I'm going to honor that. Okay, so I want you to get a look at it. We have the owl wisdom, there's a mask there some nice things so the protection message because it's in the reverse it says where are you being dishonest with yourself or with others <sighs> Pisces if you're unhappy in any areas of your like of your life look for signs of denial this can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms whether from yourself or others Ask for the truth. Even if you don't like what you hear, acknowledging it will be key to a beautiful new future where you no longer labor, labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose upon you. Set yourself free. Nothing less than truth is required now. Very nice. Okay, Pisces. I hope this helped. Um, I hope that you found some comfort, some reassurance, some guidance. 
Um, I really love doing these, so I hope you like them too. Thumbs up if you liked it, please. And I do Pisces readings every single day. So if you have a Pisces sun moon rising placement or Venus, um, please subscribe and can come hang out with me. I won't take any offense if you don't like notifications. No big deal. But if you sub, you'll get more of a chance of finding out what's going on over here, okay? Uh, the Pisces love reading for November is up. Uh, the water signs are up. I just finished shooting fire signs and I'm editing them and they should be up in the next day or two. So, love and light everybody. Super, um, I'm just feeling super hopeful. There's like this hopeful thing after this. So I hope that carries on to you too. I wish you the best day ever. Love and light, okay? Bye now.